In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called using a phase diagram to predict the phase at a given temperature and pressure. This is a pretty straightforward question. You have a phase diagram. It's already been labeled. And the one thing you want to look out for is that the temperatures that are given to you in this problem are in degrees Celsius, and the phase diagram has temperature in units of Kelvin. So you want to make sure that you are doing the necessary conversion between Celsius and Kelvin. I'm just going to ask you three different questions with um, pressure temperature combinations and you just have to find those pressure temperature combinations on the phase diagram and read the phase. So for example this is saying we have a sample of x that is at negative 148 degrees celsius so let's make sure that we're thinking about that in terms of kelvin that's 125 kelvin so we're at 125 Kelvin and 0.4 atmosphere. What is the state of sample? We're just gonna find that location, that pressure temperature combination on the graph. Here's our 0.4 atmospheres and 125 Kelvin is uh, right around this. So this is probably a um, pretty good guess about that pressure temperature combination. So this is going to be pressure temperature that corresponds to solid state. Now it's gonna ask you um, two different scenarios uh, changing either the pressure or the temperature and it's not super clear um, it, what it wants you to do is take this original pressure temperature combination and then decrease the pressure by 0.2 atmospheres so if we did that we decrease the pressure by 0.2 that would take us down to here we'd be in this position and there we are still a solid now the next question the last question what it wants us to do is go back to that original pressure temperature combination and now hold the pressure constant but increase the temperature by 267 degrees c so here we're going to be holding the pressure constant but we're going to be increasing the temperature all the way up to or no increasing it by 267 degrees celsius so um, that's going to be a new temperature of 392 Kelvin. So that's going to be all the way like right around here. So our new point is going to be this right there. And it wants to know what is happening to the sample. Oh, I guess I didn't ask this answer this question correctly. Um, for this first question, we started as a solid, we ended as a solid. So this in this question, nothing is happening. And that's one of the options that you have on this drop down menu. In the last question, what is happening to the sample? We're going from a solid to a liquid. So in this situation, it is melting.